Hey guys, what's up? We got another video here coming to you from Banjo Built. Today we're going to be doing something that I hope will help you guys out. Maybe if you want to lower your car, you know, and you don't want to spend thousands of dollars on super expensive suspension. You know, you're just looking at eBay and you just want to buy something. You want to lower your car, you want it to look sick, you want it to be slammed, you want it to be a part of that hella flush gang, you know, for not a lot of money. Well. I think this video is going to help you out and we're going to talk to you about what you could do to do that but do it properly and give you that same ride quality as that thousand dollar suspension that you've been wanting. Uh, so let's get over here back to the guys and I'll show you what we're working with. But before we do that, this is Matt, he's going to be doing uh, a lot of our cinematic video stuff. So he's new to the channel and he'll be here for a little while. So. What up? <laughs> Wait, so we got these top hats right here. These are about what? Five and a quarter inches? And what we have in the wagon right now are five inches. No, three. Three? No, we have five in the back. No, we got three in the back. No. Yeah. I'll measure. Those are fives. Those are fives. What we have in the wagon right no, now. No, we have three in the fronts. Three's in the fronts. Three's in the back. Three and a quarters in the back. No, we have five. Look, come, come, come this way. Come look at my crib. He's like, he's like, no, it's get the key. Like there, my butt. Time's up. Yeah, what Chris was talking about back here. These are uh, three and quarter inch top hats. So what we got today, where are those top hats at? Uh, here's one, the other one's over here. All right, so let me see that. So I was mistaken. I believe, according to Nate, the ones in the back right now are three and a quarter, three and a quarters, and these are fives? Yep. Or five and a quarter? Fives. Fives. Those are fives. So right now, I don't know if you can, you probably can't see yeah, it. You can't see it at all. At the bottom right here, we have about about that much space in between the actual spring itself and the strut so this two fingers it's gonna be a lot lower it won't be it'll give you the preload you need yeah pretty much it's just gonna preload the spring so it rides better because right now it's really bouncing in the back but the front's fine though front right's fine but the back is a little bouncy but these are gonna solve the problem. And it'll be a little bit stiffer. Hopefully not super stiff. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we got the, if you want to call it a coil over out. As you can see, there's absolutely no preload going on here. We have three and a quarter inch top hats here. I thought they were five, but they're not. These are five, as you can see, a lot bigger. And what this is gonna do for us is bring this, bring this whole top hat down. So there'll be no more of this. It'll just be completely compressed. And that's what you call preload. And that will give me a smoother ride and I don't have to worry about blowing these, ever. Now we're gonna take this off, put these ones on, and probably gonna have to compress these springs, which I'm not looking forward to, but we gonna have to do it anyway, so. We got the studs out of the old top hat, and we put them in here. Danny helped me press these in, and we also got the rubber, I don't know what to call this. It's so, it's where your spring goes in, pretty much, and now we have to do two other ones. Also, we painted these. It took like, we just used some barbecue paint or whatever. But, yeah. All right, so this is about what it's gonna look like in the back for us. As you can tell, that's a lot higher. It sticks out a lot more than the, uh, the three and a quarter inch did. So, that gave us enough preload that it stiffened up the back, and now we're good to go. So, we're just gonna throw on the wheels and see where it sits, give it a couple bounce tests, and call it a night. Oh shit. Not the phone, oh my god.
Yeah, so soon. Yeah, we'll be soon. Good? Okay, everybody, let's... Yeah, this is the Good? camera yep. I was talking about. Tell them the show. The boxy one. Hey, we're dropping it. <laughs> Do you want me to... Oh. But it also. But it also hasn't fully settled yet. So it, I did say we were gonna do a bounce test. Yeah, facts. So not on the bumper. We should just. We can jump on the bumper. The plastic bumper. <coughs> Bounce. It should ride way better at least. Yeah. yeah. Because before it was kind of clunky. I might have bent that a little bit. It's a Honda. It'll bluff out. <laughs> no. Alright, so the main piece of this whole puzzle that we have here that makes all of this work and makes your eBay your eBay suspension ride like for example thousand dollar BC coilovers or at least close to that is all in the top hats. So say you have a car and you want to lower it and you want to do a three inch drop on the entire car. So what you'd end up doing is you get your top hats, you're going to have to cut the OEM ones and extend that top piece out just like how we have on the old ones. I don't know what happened with the other ones. We got the old top hats right here. These are the, uh, the three inch top hats that we had, well three and a quarter inch. But this is what's going to dictate your drop. So you could actually use OEM Honda struts when you go and do this and this will keep your shocks from blowing. Because everywhere, like you go anywhere on any forum, anywhere on the internet and nine out of ten times, nine out of ten times people are going to say on the internet that they put in some eBay coilovers, so just the coil sleeves with the spring over it on their stock struts and or they got uh, brand new struts and they're going to tell you that they blew out and the car is just super bouncy and that their ride quality is just trash. But this right here, this is the problem solver. Alright, so the other thing is if you're working on a EF, um, it's going to be a little bit, it's going to be kind of weird. So the fronts on this wagon, those are 3 inch. Uh, top hats, extended top hats for the front and the backs now have five. Um, for say a hatch or a CRX or something like that it might be a little bit different so you may be able to get away with threes in the front and threes in the back to give you the same amount of ride height. Um, it'll give you about, this will be basically your drop. Um, it will go a little lower than this though what you're seeing and the only reason why is because we have a few spacers that are inside of the top hat right now that actually raise us up about maybe an eighth of an inch maybe a quarter of an inch um, but it should be very similar to this if you did exactly what we have on the fronts for this uh, for the backs like we said five inches uh, for a hatch or a crx uh, like i did say before you might be able to get away with threes uh, all the way around on all four corners uh, but you will have to do a little bit of calculating and a little bit of math on your end to get the exact height that you want. Um, so I won't say this is a one size fits all because your needs could be way different than ours. You could be, you could be lower than this, but for a wagon, 100% three inch top hats, extended top hats are the highest you can go without having to modify the hood in any way. Not having to dent it or cut anything out or take the hood off. Um, if you all in the link I'll leave a link down in the description below of my friend Tyler uh, he's the guy that made these top hats for us and I'll leave his Instagram in the bio so you can go check it out um, so on his I want to say him on his EF hatch and his friend Peter on his EK hatch uh, they're both running 10 inch extended top hats so as you can imagine that's pretty stinking low that's probably lower than most anyone will be able to go but I will say you will have to do a little bit of calculating on your part and to get your right 
right ride height, like the ride height that you want. Don't be afraid to kind of mess around with a few things. The easiest way I'm going to say to get your height is you take everything, put it together, uh, but when you're taking apart your strut, or I guess when you're putting your strut back together, that little ring that you would normally put at the top to keep the strut from going in and out uh, of itself, uh, you're going to take that and leave it out and drop the car to where you want it to be at and then watch or I guess measure, you're going to want to measure that top piece and see how much extra thread that you have or how much extra strut you have sticking out of the top and compared to your ride height. So you can take that measurement and say that you still have OEM stock uh, Honda struts or OEM Honda top hats, you'll be able to take that extra measurement and add that to how much you're going to extend your top hats. So say it pokes out an inch, you're going to do an inch extended top hat. But at the same time, you really only need it if you're going to do anything lower than I would say two inches because you can get a two inch top hat from Amazon or eBay or whatever. But yeah, if you're going to go three or anything more, it'll have to be custom and you will have to make it. But that is the way you can get your super great wide quality out of super cheap suspension parts.